Yo, Romero, you're back? Yeah. Yesterday didn't go well. Said I wasn't going to come back, but... Here I am. What I'm going to do going forward is, this is not a game I can grind anymore. It's just, there are too many fools that I run into. So, I'm going to do three encounters a, a day, because I don't want to totally quit now. I've got a shelter that I'm enjoying upgrading. That aspect of it is cool, and I like it. I'm not going to be seeking out gunfights for Ada. Okay, if I if if I happen to get into one to defend myself to some idiot or a poor little green coat that stumbles across me, then yeah. But with my ping, I mean if you've watched any of my PUBG videos, when I've got better ping, the gunfights are just better. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be getting into any gunfights in this game. Not with the movement that people have the adrenaline shots and all that sort of stuff. So three encounters a day, just to keep my sanity and continue to loot so that I can upgrade my uh, shelter. And if Ada's got any decent missions, I'll attempt them, but three encounters a day. I've got to limit it to that. So uh, sorry, bud. Sorry, Mr. Vigor. Still enjoy the game. I'll, I really do enjoy some aspects of the game. It's just a shame that some of the other aspects make it too strongly unbalanced. And then it becomes infuriating. I mean, watch the last raid I did yesterday and you'll know what I'm talking about. If I die three times, I die three times. <laughs> How many encounters can I succeed in? Alright, let's get in. Collect my coins. Try and get some more legacy XP. I think today's going to be a good day. Why did I say that? So let's check out these daily missions. See if there's any that are decent. Special delivery loot the locked container one time. That's going to depend on lobbies. Manhattan Project. Craft a radiation grenade. I think I've got the ability to do that, hopefully. And that's it. That's what we're going for. Because headshotting five outlanders, I'm not going to try and uh, headshot people. That would take too many encounters of me laying down somewhere trying to get a good view or something. And the whole encounter would be boring instead of me actually being able to explore around the map and do any looting, so we're just going to do the locked container and the radiation grenade. If I get a chance at the locked container, that is. Mainly we're just going to do three encounters. That's the deal. Where are we going first? I'm not touching snow decked or battery drug ever again. Until maybe double XP days. But I'm not going to do that to myself. I mean, there is that lighter collectible, but it's just, it's too impossible. you think I'm going to go to Battery Snow Deck after yesterday? Like, part of me inside is like, it's the, it must be the masochistic part is saying, yeah, go there. Go there. Go on. Get that lighter. <laughs> no. I don't know if it was the last encounter I did yesterday that, uh, maybe I did guts it out for one more. I can't remember. But uh, very sour taste in the mouth from one individual specifically. There was a couple of individuals actually yesterday that sent me over the edge. All right. There's the one radiation grenade. Ooh, I only had enough parts to craft one, so that worked out. And what else should I take in with me? Maybe a couple of jammers. And do I have a grenade left? Because I don't have any contact bombs. I want to be able to get into a bard safe with an explosion. So I'll take one of those in. That's going to do it. Big Dawson. Ooh, already wearing the right colour outfit too. Just need to put on this zebra skin. 
There we go. Bink. Let's do me chores. I've got a cassette tape to listen to too, left over from yesterday. I think it's uh, Reckoning. Part one. Herbs, herbs, herbs. So they give me materials. Don't ask me how herbs give you materials, but they do. Materials. Somehow you turn herbs into uh, materials used to craft weapons. And anything you've got a plan for. So any plan requires materials to craft instead of crafting paths. Or maybe their logic is you, you're trading those herbs for materials to be able to craft things with. Maybe. Maybe. Um, did I collect everything from up there? I think I did. Yeah, maybe that's the logic behind it. They're a trading item with some I invisible individual that you can trade with. should see if I've got a house upgrade that I can do as well. Because the more I get stuff upgraded, the better it's going to be for me and my ability to uh, craft things. Scrap bin, speaking of. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Oh, challenge completed. Thanks! So now I can just focus on doing three little happy encounters. <laughs> and uh, if I get a green coat lobby, I'll go for a locked container. Uh, let's see. What have we got in here that I can maybe get some more upgrading done? Scrap bin would be nice. But it uses 880 metal parts. So I, I want to save those for uh, this. And my generator. I think I just do another level of the herbs, right? This produces more food. The smokehouse. More food in the rat traps. Yeah. That's a good one. Let's do that one. Get that smokehouse upgraded. Produces more fish that in turn attract rats because the smell is so great. I don't know. It's right now it sort of looks... You know, it's okay. I don't like how when you get close to an item, this annoying big pop-up pops up in front of it. I want to stand here and look at it and go, oh, that looks cool. You know what I mean? But you can't. I already got rid of the white interactive dots when I'm back at my hideout because they kind of ruin the aesthetic. But anything you go to, this great, huge, annoying box pops up over it. You've got to stand back away from it to admire it kind of annoying. I don't like that. Uh, it's too... what's the word I'm looking for? Too obtrusive? Is that the right word? I think that's the right word. It's too obtrusive. Like I want to come over here and look at my outhouse and admire my three shells. See if it needs cleaning. Without this outhouse level 6 out of 13 popping up. When it's fully upgraded, does that box just go away because it doesn't need to tell you what level it is? Or does it still pop up and say, Outhouse. Just, yeah. Too obtrusive. Would be nice if those... Like, it, it kind of ruins the uh, immersion. You come over here to look at your box of plants and you've got this weird floating like, black box that pops up. Like the dude's wearing some kind of Google augmented reality helmet <laughs> I don't like it we're not in a cyberpunk world okay get rid of the annoying box pop-ups alright come on five minute wait so far this is another reason why I, I can't do any more than three encounters a day the lobby times man just waiting it's a good five minutes wait most times, and then another minute to load in. Um, 
I reckon I like the videos I upload you'll see they're what two hours long sometimes an hour and a half long maybe the last one I uploaded is three and a half hours long because I grinded that day there's going to be some days with the double XP that um, you'll see before this one is uploaded obviously I, I grinded pretty hard those days so they might be long videos but for the most part on a regular day the video might only be an hour and a half long doesn't mean I only played for an hour and a half I probably played for four or five hours and most of the encounters in that four or five hours 90% of them are included in that video the rest of the time I've spent in that four or five hours is waiting for lobbies I reckon you'd easily spend an hour or two waiting for lobbies by the time you add all those minutes together and it just doesn't leave me time to do anything else in the day I suppose it's easier if you stream a game because if you just stream it, have the ability to stream it straight to YouTube or straight to Twitch you don't have to uh, worry about sitting there at the editing table deciding you know where to make cuts to make the video shorter but at the same time it just would make the videos even longer like all that boring stuff in between that doesn't get cut out is in the video seven minutes wait so I've been having a good old chat with you during this lobby time normally I'll sort of you know oh yeah we're heading in cool and then I'll pause the recording five minutes will go past of me sitting here waiting to get into a lobby and then I'll start the recording again or I'll edit it out in the uh, in Premiere Pro before I upload it so for you it's like bam I'm straight into the next one but for me it's it, it just doesn't happen I've got wait times I've got to deal with and that was an insane one Vic Dawson encounter one out of three what will happen Romero needs a bit of a time away from the outer lands I think it will be healthy if, if he just takes a break. We shall not send him out too often anymore. The Outlands are starting to get to him. So now I've got to wait another minute to get in. See, so normally I'd, I sort of cut this down to like 10 seconds as well. Five. Alright, spawned right on the signal detector, you beauty. Let's see if I can die a sprint into it. Encounter number one, off to a good start. Oh man, I don't have my compass on. And here he comes, he's at the Bard house. Now this is what we're going to do. He's still at the Bard house. Why are you doing that? You say, I oh, was that at the tents I like to hit up? Damn man. I'll tell you why I did that. Because I'm sick of people sitting on that signal detector. If you missed yesterday, I think I explained this. It was someone's idea and I liked it. Sitting on the sing signal detector and uh, finding where you're at. Sprinting to you, killing you. Going back to the signal detector. I was sprinting to someone else, killing them. It's just, yeah. I'm done with signal detectors. It kind of ruins the day for other people, I suppose. They want to get information late in an encounter.
I know there's a dude right down there. I just want to get out of here. I was hoping there'd be a red crate in there. There's not. Let him have his safe. I don't want it. Me sprinting away from here is going to make anyone think oh, I've got the bloody stuff out of the safe, which is making me nervous. There are some great things in this game, man. Don't get me wrong. I like... Right now, this is cool. This is fun. This is... There's no idiots popping portable detectors. Okay. This is... A pretty cool experience. It's when you get idiots running around with portable detectors and adrenaline shots and caffeine pills and... Uh, too many people on a map when you can't move off your spawn point before someone's shooting at you sometimes. You can't go into the building next to you before someone's sprinting at you. That sort of stuff makes the game not fun and needs to be addressed. But the game's been around for what is this season 18? I don't think they're in a hurry to change anything. Phone was ringing for that bloody long. Jeez, man. I don't know why I rang the phone. I just what I just wanted to see who was around. I wanted to make that guy nervous. That was a bard safe. See now, if anyone goes to use a signal detector, they'll take a nice little dose of radiation. If they have to go back and use it again, they'll think twice. Now, does that make me invisible to Mr. Answered the Phone down there? I think it does. I think he just answered the phone for a bit of info for himself. Someone used a signal detector. I just don't know if it was a portable or not. Which sucks. The amount of information they give you in this game, you know, that would be nice. Did someone top up the loot pool? Holy crap. I think he's going to slowly try and make his way this way. Yeah, I think you should be told. If, if you're going to tell me a signal detector was pinging me, tell me if it's a portable one or not, man. But no, no, we're, we're going to balance it towards the people that pop portables. We don't want you having that information. Uh, maybe he's not going to try and come this way. I'm nervous that someone spawned up here and they're like hitting up this tent here, then they're going to come down here. I want to know if anyone's up here. So I'm going to go up here. There might be a little looter up here. Be careful. A little looter like me. Here, this is good stuff. Some glass, nice. Let's uh, climb down, eh, so you don't hurt yourself.
Actually, at least I know where one other person is. I think that's all he wanted to. He's like, yeah, I'm going to answer this phone just so I know where at least one other person is. Did I already loot down here? See, if I, if I stumble across somebody sprinting along like that and they're in a bush or they're in a tree or they're in a tree, wouldn't that be something? In a building and they're defending themselves. Like this guy right now is coming this way. Somebody's on the other side of this building come here for loot like me. You know, that's fair enough. I don't mind dying to looters. What I do mind dying to is complete friggin' brain dead moronic idiots that have no desire to loot. They just sprint around with detectors and camp on high value objects with no intention to get what's in them just to uh, kill those that are trying to balance too much in favour of those dudes. Just a green coat looter. You go your way, I'll go mine, bud. Oh, you friggin' bastard, really? Really, dude? Maybe he's the one that hit the bard safe? No. Jeez, oh, he was a aggressive little fella. Wasn't he? Sucks that I had to waste a grenade right there, but um, I should have got eyes on him better before I threw that. I want that loot that's in that house. What if there's a red crate in there?
do that to take a pretty good dose of radiation there, right? I reckon he's gonna go camp that exit for the guy with the. Oh damn, I wish I was a red crate. Alright, we're going north. Let's keep going. there I think I don't have any electronics be okay as long as it's, there's no one here. Alright. Aggressive little green coat. But we went our separate ways. That's the way it should be. Okay. Little standoff. He was coming to that building. He, th he thought I was skul skulking around trying to kill him. It's funny, he knew exactly where I was though. Didn't he? He, he sort of... Um, I went and crawled in under the little ledge there amongst the roots. And he ran up around onto the snow bank in front of me. And I thought, oh good, he's buggering off. So I go to stand up, and he starts shooting at me. He ran over there and like took up a position where he could shoot at me. And then he, he must have seen me when I stood up from under there. I stood up from under there and thought, oh good, he's going over there because he heard me. He's... No, he wanted to take shots at me, the bastard. Got me too. So that's why I went back there. I thought, screw you, I'm going to go back there if you if and um, if you want to shoot it out, let's shoot it out. But he he'd moved on. This some XP. No, we're not collecting the season 12 cassettes. We're saving that for the double XP day. So yeah, if someone wants to use that signal detector, they're going to have to take some radiation damage to do it. Use a radiation pill if you stood there for too long. And I think any radiation damage you take reduces your overall health as well. Reduces your overall health. Bar. 
it will never go back to full after you take any radiation damage. So you want to use that signal detector, they can't continuously use it. I like the idea of putting radiation on it. Sagbrook? I think that's where we go. I mean, is that what us? That one's probably better, I suppose. Look at the size of this thing. Look how much that sticks out. I'm like a turtle. Right, it's just too much. Too much. We're just a little outlander. Okay. I mean, if it wasn't for the blue and white stripes on the back of that, which probably clearly give you away, uh, I'd wear it. Let's keep a low profile. Sling bag. Okay. Got the bloody hand wraps after yesterday. Let's get in there. Get some stuff. Hopefully get out alive again. Good old Sagbrook. Hopefully we get a good lobby. We get a good spawn. Damn. So much for the good lobby. Uh, we got some uh, we got some true loons in here. Some mentally unwell people, I can tell. Damn it. This isn't going to end well. I might even sprint to the nearest exit and just load up another Sagbrook. Because, uh, yeah, you can just tell by looking at people, the skins they wear. I swear they're all from the same club. Unfortunately, things are, it sounds like I've spawned along the river's edge, which is going to be hard for me to get out. But heavy machine gun, that, is, that type of skin. And you got this guy. Don't trust this guy even. Um, there's another Mesha Wanger Wanger. It's, yeah. I'm probably going to die here. I'm just going to try and get to the nearest exit. And I spawn on top of, and I mean on top of, I couldn't be, I've seen people spawn here before. Because I've wondered, how the hell did they use that that quick? And now we're running inland. No, actually, we might just go south. Away from this bloody thing. Up in the trees. They're all going to sprint directly at me. And I want to get out. Problem is, this exit down here is probably going to get camped. I might actually push north. Oh, did it? Was anyone down there? I don't know now, man. Keep going south. They might have used a jammer off the rip. Oh, there's an exit right here? There is an exit right here. I forgot about that. I thought I had to run all the way to the north or all the way to the south. I don't want to be in that lobby. So, we're leaving. Done. Get out of there, man. Don't let the Outlands do it to you. Here's me thinking I had to run all the way to the south end or all the way to the north end to get out. I forgot all about that exit right there. Because I never use it. Oh, check out all the loot I got. I'm oh, that's all the stuff I brought in. Uh, it took me a good two or three minutes to make it back home, but here I am. Let's go back to Sagbrook. Try one more time for some loot. This house is in need of desperate repairs. I mean, it's a lot better than when it first became in my possession, but still, I don't know why I hang on to that stupid thing. Rubik's Cube, I think they're called. They look pretty, but one of the most stupid inventions I've ever seen. That and portable signal detectors. Well, now I have to wait for my pickup. Probably five, six, seven minutes, maybe. We shall be in Sagbrook again and see if fortunes look a bit more favorable. Whew, 
Okay. Four minutes. And we're heading in. Sagbrook. Most likely I'll probably run into the same dudes. They'll just queue straight back into Sagbrook. Those that uh, died. Or well, they're all still running around in there holding each other's hands. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh oh. Some familiar faces. I mean, are there people that come in with nothing that are high level like that and they run to a room that they know has weapons in it maybe? You've got the foreman's house. The wardrobe usually has Mosins, carbines. Or he's in here to spectate camp for somebody and feed him information for kills. That's going to be what I look at it as these days. Never trust anybody. This guy, I don't know. I don't think I've ever died to him, but I do see his name a lot. And we're right on an exit. I could just leave. I could just leave. The Bard House, whoever spawns there, is going to be looking to get it out this way. It's going to be hard to get out. I'm just leaving. Don't like the look of this lobby. Somebody's probably already pushing over here to camp it. For those that have hit the bard safe. in your neck. Someone already got a red crate from the forest clearing? Really? Red crate spawns up here and there's only vehicles up along that road. Maybe there's one of those little uh, huts. Okay, where's he going with his red crate? What did you say, dude? I've, got, I've just got a sneaking suspicion that there's some spectate cam action maybe happening. I don't... I don't know. Something doesn't feel right. Familiar names. A high-level guy coming in without a weapon. I don't know. I was thinking of pushing up around the edge and hitting up the loot areas up the hill. Minimal loot. No one topped the pool up. Get out. Don't like the look of it. There's only minimal loot up there. There's sort of a couple of spots you can hit. Tented area, a little broken down shack that has some stuff in there. The, at the power pole. Um, I just don't trust the looks of that lobby. I don't like it, so I'm out. Maybe... Yeah, see, what happened to me yesterday is just affecting my psyche too much. Do I try Sagbrook again? Nah. Look, let's do it. Maybe three, third time's a charm. Alright. We head to Sagbrook. Get a better spawn, maybe. So we can grab some stuff before we leave. Yeah, yesterday's experience in this game has really really affected my mentality in how I play the game. 
It's just gotten to me <laughs> mentally. I go into raids now and I just think, right, like even more so than usual, I'm just like, right, how long before I get killed by an idiot? Am I going to get to enter a building before some idiot pops a portable signal detector and chases after me? I've just, yeah, it's really affected me. Sagbrook. Romero can't make up his mind if he wants to go to Sagbrook or not. Every time he leaves, he comes back again. With nothing. I don't know, maybe he just gets turned around. He gets lost easily. We're going to the nearest exit. Hey, there are people just in here looking to run around. It's an arena map for them. So, I think people must be like tired of playing eliminations and shootouts or something today. Like I swear there are people that would normally be in those game modes. Running around in encounters. Are you serious? I don't, I don't think we're getting out of here alive. I really don't think we're getting out of here alive. I think we're screwed. I can't even push the direction I would push. Because... There's a signal detector down there that'll detect me before I can get there. Oh look, a portable signal detector revealed my location. No way, man. Does that happen in this game often? I've heard that it does. I've heard. I told you. I could. I told you there are people in here that just run. They want to run around and kill. This is the, this is the last one. There's the portable detector. That's two portables I just got pinged with. Two portables. I'd be the same guy, right? Because I'm closest to him. Oh, I'm not even in the bush. Will it be three? Three portables? What do you reckon? Can I get pinged by three portables? This is why they're dumb. And they do not make, make me want to play this game. So I'm, I'm trying to think of spawn locations, which I'm rusty on compared to other people that play this game. This little spot here, I was looking at this the other day. I think you could go across the logs to get out here instead of coming this way. In the video I was watching back, I thought, I wonder if you can run over those logs. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, um, I know there's a spawn, like, obviously, there's, like, three bloody locations, maybe even four down here. Okay, we've got the one where I just spawned before. Maybe he ran up the road and then used another one. Maybe he knows where I am right now. Because he saw me run and lay down here. Um, okay, so we know someone spawns up there sometimes. There's someone up here. Maybe one up here as well. you got, like, one right next to the foreman's house. Uh, I'm just trying to think where that person that just portaled me, portabled me twice could be at. What they want is for me to get up and run, 
so they can see where I'm at because they know I'm in this general area so they're already sniffing around here they want me to move and give away my position they don't even have to listen to environmental audio to see where people might be because they just use a portable signal detector to see where people are at they're so dumb and cheesy I'm over them I want a game where you've actually got to listen to the environment around you and try and hear where people are at not rely on cheesiness So whatever happens here, this will be the last one of the day. So I finally do hear footsteps off to my right. Faintly. But yeah, this just doesn't make for a fun experience. I want to be in a world that's more open. Where I can explore. Not trapped on a map with too many people. That are just looking to kill. If I wanted to play that game, I'd play eliminations or shootouts. That's all encounters are. Really. They're just a little bit bigger of an elimination and a shootout. Can't see anybody. Probably someone like scoping this area from over that direction up the road. I'm betting. I'm looking for a f sniper glint coming from over there. Oh, this is fun. I'm just going to pause this recording for a sec. Okay, that's the signal detector. I've just been pinged by it. Again, why? Maybe they're farming XP. Maybe. Maybe they're not just sitting there continuously using the signal detector so they Airdrop can kill us. Get ready. I'll know if I get sprinted up on right now. It's probably a... Uh, he ran out of portables, so he sprinted down there with an adrenaline shot, and he'll sprint back up here with another one. So I'm just trying to get out alive. It's kind of the point where, like, I'm obviously not going to get anything on this map today. I just want to get out of here alive. I've got bloody two jammies in my pocket. I could have been popping the entire time. I just lost track of thought. Because this game has just frustrated me too much. I lay one down and they know they're in a jammed area anyway. And so they'll skulk around looking for me. Till I hear the jammer. And then know I'm around close by. Uh, it's just not fun.
don't like that. I don't like that. People down the road looking. Don't like that. Someone's got to be up on that roof, right? Sniping the airdrop. Sitting, sitting up here. Ready to snipe it. Just don't know how I'm going to get out of here alive. Where's the radiation coming from? Of course, it's coming from the direction I was thinking of running. Probably die trying to get out of here either by someone shooting me or um, radiation. Let's see what happens. They hit just about everything you could hit. Yeah, this game really, really screwed my mind yesterday. And I'm just not playing it with a, a clear mind. Two jammers in my pocket from the start and I don't lay either of them down so in the meantime I get pinged by portable detectors signal detectors I just, that, I just that spawn I hate it you spawn there you're screwed because the center of town is where all the idiots like to go and play shooty games okay so I couldn't do anything Yeah, that's it for today.